Hello and welcome to Bill's Workbench. I've got the TRX-4M on the bench again today because we're going to be putting in the overdrive gears in the front axle. Where last time I put the underdrive gears in, if you remember. Well, this time I'm going to do it right and I'm going to show you how to install just the gears today the easy way. So let's get started. The tools you're going to need are a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, a 5 millimeter nut driver, and tweezers and tweezers maybe i don't know we're gonna find out when we get in there i have my gloves on because i greased that up last time and i don't want to get my, my hands all greasy so we'll remove the wheels with the five millimeter nut driver and what we're going to do is remove just the top links not the bottoms or anything else, just the top links. And then we can get to these four screws to take out the differential. We need to turn that over a little bit and remove this screw. Same with the other side. And then we will remove the screw here for the drive shaft. Okay. We should be able to lift the two arms up. Okay, let's get the body off of there. Might make it even easier, huh? Duh. All right, yeah, that does make it easier. All right, those go like that. This drive shaft comes off. And then we can just twist this to get to, well, let's see if we can get to it. Yeah, so we can get to the four screws. The bottom ones first, they're the hardest. Oh, I've got to take the axles out. Okay. Take the axles out. I have to take out these two screws and the two on the bottom. Oh, you just have to take the axle out. Just a small snorkel. Okay. These two are matched to each other. Well, matched to their to their sizes, not to each other, but to their sizes. So you should keep them together. And I will put these in here to keep them together. And I'm going to be a little bit smarter than I was last time. All 
right under on them. So I know. All right, let's put this into here. And then we'll put these bearings on. I don't have the shims in there yet. I make sure they're make sure I don't need them or do need them. A little bit loose. I'm going to put one shim on the inside. Without the spacer or the shim, rather, because as I move this with light pressure, it moves well, but, you, but the cover is moving back and forth, so I don't want that. Spacer is inside. better. Yep, yep, yep. And then we got a little ply. That's what I'm going to use. Let's get one of the easy screws in first. axles back together. shock first. And 
finally the wheels. I do have new wheels and tires to put on this thing, but wheels and tires make a big difference in crawling. So I'm going to keep them with this for now so I can see if the overdrive made a difference. Otherwise, I'm not going to know if it was the overdrive or the tires. And then we'll switch out the tires and see how it works. Fantastic. There we go. That's how you replace the gears in the front of your TRX4. To replace them in the back, same procedure. You remove the drive shaft, remove the top links, uh, twist the axle a little bit so you can get into it, undo the four screws, undo the tires, pull the axles out, away you go. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if these videos are helping you or not with your TRX4. And we're going to go and try this now.